Hey, what's up, you guys? So, today is another day. It's day two of being at my grandparents' house. Today is baking day. We are baking a lot of shit. Today is about having fun making lots and lots and lots and lots of treats. These are all ingredients. We have like four different things, and let me tell you what they are. So, we're making French macaroons. I, that was my idea. I want macaroons. I want to be able to make those. Frosted Christmas wreath cookies. Milky Way caramel cheesecake brownies. And deluxe chocolate marshmallow bars. We're best to get diabetes. <laughs> so we're going to go to the store right now and uh, go buy. Okay, so today we are making cook uh, cut out cookies. We're starting with gingerbread flavored dough. They're Pillsbury rolls. And you need all purpose flour. And you need to spread that out all over the table. Then you're gonna get a, you're gonna have a ball dough. You're gonna flatten it out. You're gonna spread it out till it's thick enough to where you're gonna have a not so thin cookie. Because thin cookies are gonna burn on the bottom. And you're gonna have to make the cookie wide enough for the cookie cutter to fit on it. So uh, if you need more dough, just go ahead and put more dough on it. See, it fits perfectly. I made the Christmas tree, and you need to get all the extra dough off of it and rip it off because you need every little piece of it. So if you run out of flour, spread on some more because that shit is, it helps. It helps because if you don't have enough, it sticks to the table. If you have too much, it makes the cookie really nasty and gross feeling. I made an angel because, um, well, you know. <laughs> don't forget to butter up your uh, thingy and do not use glass. 350 degrees, 7 to 8 minutes. Then we moved on to the peppermint ones and, um... Yeah. Then we move on to the French macaroon. You need confectioner's sugar, slivered almonds, egg whites, a mixing bowl, and you need regular sugar. Then you need food processor. You need to process the almonds so they are finely ground. Oh, little baby penis! I don't remember what this clip was. The gingerbread cookies, they turned out at uh, 3 out of 5 Oprahs. 3 out of 5 Oprahs. Then we made our little peppermint tray. You just take a whole bunch of peppermints in your little cookie sheet tray and just fill it up. Fill it up. Completely. All of it. It's crazy how much you need. Uh, now, forgive me, I'm try I tried doing this all in one take, but that sucked. Um, so now I'm doing it take by take. <laughs> and it's looking pretty good. So yes, yeah, so you put that in the oven once you got the whole thing filled up and it'll do that. That, oh my god, I, I, 5 out of 5 Oprah Winfrey's. We did that again with the second one. And in the piping thing, you put the tip inside of the bag and you cut the little edge off. You gotta make sure it's in there perfectly tight. Then we whisked the egg yolk until like 5 minutes. And that made this weird little milky thing. Then you put in the uh, almonds and, and the, 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 the powder in there. And it will um, like go through the little sieve. And it'll just go into the mix. Then you whisk it again for five minutes, five more minutes, and then you put in food dye. I recommend up to ten drops, and we got this McCormick assorted colored food dye. Get that. Now we added a little bit more, thinking it would get darker, but it doesn't. It stays the same. They're supposed to be neon colors. That's just how food dyes work. So don't expect it to be super dark. So then when we were doing the piping, we had to have my finger covering the bottom because it leaked out. Because the hole is too big, and because we didn't whisk it enough. You need to whisk it for extra five minutes because when you're whisking it the second time around for the second five minutes, you need to add the little sugar and the um, stuff like that. You're adding sugar at the same time you're whisking. So it's a two-person job, and holy crap, this was hard. This part right here was easy. We just let my finger go, and it just poured out by itself. You need to make a one-inch disc, and then you all need to be two inches apart, or else they're going to mesh together, and it's going to be really difficult. Some of them will drip and, like, run and mesh together, as you can see, but it is fine. It doesn't matter. You can cut them apart. So then you put it in there for 15 minutes. You let it sit for 15 minutes. Then you put it in the oven for 15 minutes. And they will rise eventually and look like this. Damn. Okay. And, um, Tano is being stupid. Stop! Stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, no ho, that's dirty. <laughs> Anyways, I give the red macaroons a 4 out of 5 Tyler Perry's. And the green macaroons a 1 out of 5, um, Medea's. <laughs> no, 1 out of 5, uh, no, whatever. Anyways, goodbye!